Hello, in this video we will continue to present the basic features of Autobone and Vessel IQ Express software. Part 3 of this series focuses on stenosis measurements and the summary table. We will continue where we stopped in the prior tutorial, Autobone and Vessel IQ Part 2. Please refer to Part 2 for more information on the previous steps. In the two-click AVA panel, there are different measurement options available, such as the curve distance or the marker. The curve distance will allow the user to measure lengths inside a vessel using the tracking line as reference. The length of the tracking line can be modified by dragging over the reference on the curved or lumen views. The marker will capture the statistics at a certain point in the tracked vessel. The statistics and other options can be modified via the right-click menu. As for any measurement, the results will be transferred to the summary table. For all other standard measurements, the procedure is very similar. Please review the user manual for more details on the specific usage. In this video, we will concentrate on the general stenosis and aneurysm tools. As a tip, before selecting the stenosis tool, we can rotate to find the projection that depicts the lesion better in any of the views. Before starting with the measurement, please make sure that the section segmentation is reflecting the actual diameter of the vessel in the X section view. In order to hide or show the vessel IQ annotations, press the H key for hide on the keyboard. In the next step, we can select the stenosis tool and click and hold with the left mouse button until we cover the whole area we wish to include for measurement. The orientation should always be from proximal to distal in the vessel, since the first and last points will be automatically named as proximal and distal referenced by the software. It is also usual practice to start and end in a non pathological section of the vessel if possible to ensure full coverage of the lesion and reliable reference points. Nevertheless, this might vary according to different societies or institutions' policies. Please refer to the corresponding guidelines before using the stenosis tool. The tool will select the point of minimum diameter within the defined region and the calculations are done automatically. We can modify the start, the end, as well as the stenosis. With the right click over the measurement, different options such as labeling, color, or the statistics can be accessed. In this menu, we will also find the stenosis reference mode, allowing us to change between proximal, distal, and double reference modes. We can see how the not accounted reference is deleted in the lumen view. Any protocol outside the head and neck area will provide double reference by default, whereas in the head and neck area the mode by default is distal reference. We will continue now with a carotid exam to illustrate it. In a first step the head and neck area should be selected and then we click on the carotid analysis protocol. This is a multiple point protocol and therefore we define start point and we position the cursor over the vessel of interest until the desired tracking is shown. We can proceed the same way for the other vessel we wish to analyze. Once done, we click next. Changing to the left internal carotid artery, we can observe a lesion in the bifurcation. We can rotate to show the desired view and also check in X section. Afterwards, we can select the stenosis and carry out the measurement. In this case, proximal is the lower and distal the upper part. Check how distal is selected by default as reference. We change now to the right carotid artery and perform the measurement again. Every measurement will be automatically added to the summary table, along with some automatically generated screen captures. We can add additional images to the report by right-clicking over the desired viewport and select Send to Summary Table. 
we can attach the image to one of the stenosis or just send the image to the report. Once done, we can open and check the summary table. To save results in the summary table, we can choose between sending it to the database, to the filmer, or create a PDF file. An important tip, if your option for PDF is not available and you get the report as plain screen captures, this means that the advanced report option is not selected. It can be activated via the options or report options and advanced report. There are some more options under the tab to select how we want the images sorted, displayed or if we want to flag all measurements. Right click over the measurement to add or remove statistics. In this case we will send the report to the patient database. After the process we get a preview. If satisfied with the report we can save it by clicking on the floppy icon. All saved images will then be in the patient's folder on the workless browser. You can network the images manually with a right click or have the images auto pushed if configured. Thanks for viewing. In the next tutorial videos, we will cover more features of Vessel IQ and Autobone Express.